One of our brethren some years ago spoke of the payment of tithing as fire insurance. Nonetheless, the word of the Lord is clear that those who do not keep the commandments and observe the laws of God shall be burned at the time of his coming, for that shall be a day of judgment, a day of sifting, a day of separating the good from the evil. I would venture a personal opinion that no event has occurred in all the history of the earth as dreadful as will be the day of the second coming, as fraught with the destructive forces of nature, as consequential for the nations of the earth, as terrible for the wicked, and as wonderful for the righteous. Through federal filings, we confirmed the numbers on 12 funds, each with more than one web domain owned by the LDS Church. The funds control about $31.9 billion in investments. The Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints and its investment arm will pay a fine totaling $5 million for failing to disclose investment holdings. The Securities and Exchange Commission announced the settlement today. Fox 13 News investigative reporter Nate Carlisle has been following the investigation into church finances. These charges from the SEC accuse the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints and its leaders of spending years hiding investments from the public. That includes stocks purchased with tithing. Travis Wingoodzell, I was checking the news tonight and on MSNBC's Ali Velshi show just a few hours earlier this morning or today, he did a segment that made it on YouTube that's the thumbnail picture, <clears throat> in which there's a uh, right-wing conservative radio host or something like that who was uh, fined by the SEC for violations. And he's suing the SEC. And it made it to the Supreme Court. And they've agreed to hear it. Now, Earlier this year, the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, or Participating Saints, as it's now called, <clears throat> had uh, been fined by the SEC for misreporting funds into the stock market, $32 billion, which came from Russia for that temple. Where is that temple, Nelson? <clears throat> I see a Ukraine war with the money we gave them. And so, uh, it's this the money was a result of Warren Hatch uh, back in 2017 rushing to get that bill passed through Congress before the new year. And then Fox 13 News, Utah's Max Roth found out about it in May and reported it, in which uh, the church had, uh, had formed a number of LLC corporations that received a total of $32 billion. And because of that bill that Orrin Hatch got pushed through Congress into law for the new year, uh, it meant that the church could make these LLC corporations and not report where they got the money from. And then Nelson comes out and says, Hey, a major city yet to be determined in Russia. So it's pretty clear when you put all the pieces together what's going on. And, uh, and so it's that money that uh, the church invested into the stock market that Max Roth told us about. They did not report it to the SEC. And that's uh, uh, the... Uh, a, it's a special term for fraudulently manipulating the stock market. But regardless, church got busted, finally earlier this year. Five million dollars. 
Now, with the Supreme Court, we've seen that they have no problem destroying America and establishing King Jesus on the throne. The Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, as I've been going over with you all these years, wants the same thing. These are like staples for my videos these days. <clears throat> the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, since 1981, helped form the Council for National Policy. It is the secret combination in the United States of America seeking to overthrow the America by putting in laws that violate the constitutional laws that are already established as inalienable rights. And so you have uh, already witnessed the overthrowing of the 14th Amendment Section 1, and the disregard for Section 3 of that same 14th Amendment. And we've seen others that likewise have been uh, overturned or disregarded as uh, chaos runs amok with dogs and cats living together, mass hysteria. And this is all part of the church's plot and purpose with this secret combination group to all work together to overthrow America. And that's what this case is about, is that the federal government is set up so that there's uh, different administrations in the federal government and they have sub-administrations so that you don't go buying food that's poisoned with lead or salmonella poisoning or other kinds of, of uh, diseases, illnesses, metals, bugs, etc. There's a federal agency that's supposed to monitor and track these uh, companies and uh, not just for food but how our whole system works in America. They help protect us as citizens from bad businesses who want to cause us harm just so that they can make a big buck. And yeah, they're failing. Many problems, understaffing and so on and so forth. But this case, if it's successful, will overthrow this administration as the church then could step up and say, hey, we too were a victim of this SEC, which you have now ruled is unconstitutional. See where we're going with this? And then the church can then sue to get their $5 million back from the SEC. And so the church will still go after their insurance companies to also get that money back They'll go after any other source that they can to get more and more money as the time is winding down. That's exactly what the church is doing here. They started the, the giving vending machines. They started those early this year, and they've opened them up in new places around the world. And I did the video where we checked and, and saw where the 100% of donations go, and it goes to the church or those businesses that the church approved and made a business deal with. <coughs> and so I expect more and more opportunities for the church to make more and more money. As Friday, even, the church is saying, hey, it's okay if you can't pay a full tithe, pay whatever you can, and you can still be a participant in Mormonism. And so, yeah, the church is, is going all out to get as much money as they can. Because the clock is ticking on doomsday, and the church knows it, because the church planned it, because the church wants their kingdom back, and they're going to blame Jesus for it. Even though they're the ones causing it. 
as Nelson said, in the coming days, Jesus, he's coming. He's going to burn you. <laughs> Better be full tithe payer and now a part tithe payer. You can be a part tithe payer now and not get burned, I guess. Although we didn't say that. Maybe that's the trick. Mm. Thinking that maybe if you're just a part tithe payer, you can be saved from the burning. Yeah, that's a, ooh, devious. But, you know, there's Mormons who don't care. They don't have to study anymore. Because that's another thing that that Friday thing said. You're a participant. You don't study your scriptures anymore. Don't need to worry about what it says. Don't study it. Nah, don't do it. Don't worry about not knowing what the learning of the Jews is. Nope, don't worry about it. Just be a participant. Pay your tithing. Yep, yep, yep. And so, yeah, that's something to watch out for. And pay attention to. Because uh, Gorsuch, he's already been compromised by the church. He went to the Washington, D.C. open house as Cook invited him. They are on the Council for National Policy, the secret combination that is designed to overthrow the government. And Cook met with Gorsuch at the temple, compromising him. And so, yeah, you better damn well believe the church purposely compromised those judges, not just through Leonard Leo, another member on that council. <clears throat> they are all working on it together. So, yeah, that's why he's suing in the Supreme Court on this, and that's why the Supreme Court accepted it. Jesus is coming, and it's just a matter of whether it's going to be Evangelical Jesus, Church of Jesus Christ of Participating Saints Jesus, or Islamic Jesus. The Jewish Jesus has always been here. He's the only one who showed. But you don't believe. You don't know. You don't study. <laughs>